Why don't we uh, talk about this, the uh, circuit court week again? Um, could you describe some of the activities that went on in the town and some of the uh, enthusiasm, if there was community enthusiasm or, or entertainment that went on during the circuit court week? What, what did the town look like or how did it change or how was it different during the circuit court week than a normal week? Well, I don't, I don't know that it would have been much different except the merchants. The stores may have stayed over later at night because they did have, they did have uh, night stations in the court. They would have whole court all day and then they'd come back in the whole court maybe till 10 o'clock at night. I heard a story once that uh, when people came in, people who were elected officials were expected to put people up from the country when they came in the court week. Well, I, I think there was a lot of that time of life. I'm sure there was. Do you have any stories you can remember yourself? Really, I don't. I, I remember I remember lots of people standing at our house. Uh, I can remember that. But uh, I was so young, I guess I didn't put it together. I mean, I didn't know the connection there. But uh, later, I guess, I knew that they were dead and old buddies, you know, that would come in out laying precincts to court. And uh, at the time, they still had and they had been there for two or three days. Would townspeople uh, put up visitors that they normally would not? Probably in the winter months they did. Uh, there was a lot of camping done in the summertime here. Uh, people would bring their families. Bob got a story there about the first time he came here to court. He'd, he'd like to tell you about it. About uh, the time he camped across the creek. Oh, yes. Well, uh, as I said, my dad was called on the jury just near every time it seemed like and uh, those days they would have two weeks of court now they had court and uh, the first time I was in eminence my dad was called on the jury and he took the team to the wagon and hold all of us in and we camped right across the creek over there a little bit in a sawmill <clears throat> owned by Tom Galbraith and uh, I amused myself by working with ratchets on the carriage to gauge the lumber as you cut it. So I run it off the track. I don't want it. It has to be left. But uh, that, I worried about it because I couldn't get back home. I was only about four or five years old, but it worked because I'd done something I was going to do. Do you recall any revivals that might have been held during the court week when a lot of people were gathered together? I don't know myself. No, I don't either. I remember lots of revivals they would have in the river bottom, uh, tent meetings and uh, bridge arbor meetings. Seen lots of those here back in the old days. Are there any uh, particular courtroom stories that might have been told or remembered about famous cases or, or cases that might have drawn uh, a packed courtroom more than uh, normal? Well, I expect there is lots of, I don't know any myself, do you, Bob? I remember one, and it was Everett Council's case. Yes. Then, mm -hmm. then <clears throat> this building was preceded by a, a brick courthouse. The brick were killed uh, over in the, the southeast part of town. And uh, it wasn't what it should have been, and they had to put a steel bars all around on, on, on four sides and dogged in just as tight as they could. And when this particular case, this murder case, uh, came up, there's such a crowd here that the <coughs> it pulled the walls in from those iron bars just about four inches. And everybody in the courthouse got out in the yard and they stayed outside the, that trial was over. That's one particular case that I, that I remember. Uh, um, Killed a man in jail. Just walked up to jail and shot him in jail. He had been going with his daughter, and they had eloped. And uh, that brought on the killing. His dad, or the girl's dad, didn't, didn't approve of it. Pretty high tempered. There's been a lot of violence in Shannon County? Well, yes, we've had some pretty bad crimes here. Uh, one crime, a fellow named Baker killed his wife. He lived, they lived in Monona. And he was the only man 
Is there a county office that uh, is more sought after or excites more interest in a county than another office? Is there one, one race that is usually more interesting than others? Well, I think the sheriff's race is the most, the most interesting here. There's most generally several running for sheriff. And I remember one race with 14 in it. The first time I ran for office, there was 14 in it for sheriff. What the party? All the Democratic. All the Democratic. What is the attraction for the sheriff's office? Well, I don't know. But there's always lots of people who seem like want to be sheriff. There's always opposition in the sheriff's race. But do you think it's the leader in the. I think it is. Uh, and it's proven out that way here, it seems like. But the primary election here, of course, the primary uh, election is the election here. There's very seldom any opposition in the poll. Republicans seldom put up anyone. Occasionally they do. You see that there's going to be much change in politics in Shannon County in the future? Well, I don't see much change, actually. I, it'd be pretty slow to come, I think, if there was a change. If you were, if you were to characterize the people and what they want, uh, you know, most of the issues that are coming out, of the people of Shannon County, can you characterize them in any way in their, in their political feelings? No, I don't think I know exactly your Well, what's you? Uh, are they are they generally conservative? Are they uh, you know how do they feel about I know it's the right to work law? Yeah, to I think I think you'll find find them through here pretty well conservative. I believe you will. Now we were talking about they are democratic. We can I was just gonna say does, does does the county population have a pride in being democratic? I know it's the old newspaper that's just spread all over the paper. Well, it used to be. We've had some editors here that uh, were pretty partial. And uh, I think in the past it has been. But that's changed now. Well, I don't know that it has so much. I don't think it gets the, the highlight it used to because uh, elections and court cases and that type of things Back years ago, were more prominent, it seemed like. Now people have got television to watch and they've got different things that they do in the evening and they, I mean, and in the daytime too. And I, I don't like the, the old type stuff is as prominent here as it used to be. Well, actually, what you're saying in politics is not the entertainment or the attraction as it used to be. Probably not. No, I, don't think it is. I don't think it is. Along with other things, not only politics, but uh, picnics and uh, and court, circuit court, and, and things of that nature. Do you remember when TV came into the area? Oh, yes, yeah, very, very well. What, what changes did it make immediately? Well, I think it had an effect on our churches, for one thing, and I think it had an effect on the uh, movies. Yes, the movies and the family get togethers and family visiting. Uh, it, I think it had a Great effect on that. Maybe it's changed the county for the worse? Well, I like the old ways the better. We used to play lots of music together and get together and, you know, a lot. And now it's pretty hard to get a group together because somebody's watching the program on television or something. And 